episode was brought to you in part by Visit Scotland and Royal Mile Backpackers. We're in Edinburgh, one of the most beautiful cities in Europe. It's also one of the most haunted. We're going to start the day by visiting the Old Town and Royal Mile. It's called the Royal Mile because it's a mile-long street stretching between two royal buildings, the Holyrood Palace and Edinburgh Castle. It's a landmark in itself because it's situated on an extinct volcano. We've been walking along the Royal Mile and we've seen a lot of beautiful buildings and there are also a lot of attractions here. We're going to go into a camera obscura where apparently seeing is not believing. Built in 1853 and it was designed by an optician called Maria Theresa Short. And the way her camera works is dead, dead simple. It works like a periscope. So outside, on top of our tower, you'll find a small mirror about this size here, small flat mirror, set at an angle like this. And the mirror reflects the city and projects the image on the table. So what you'll see on my table today is a, a reflection, a live image of what's happening mm -hmm. outside at the moment. We walked up to the top of the tower and you can get this great view over Edinburgh. You can see Arthur's Seat, Carlton Hill and even the ocean. It's pretty cool. We're walking around the exhibition and we've seen so many crazy creative pictures. And I think these ones sum up what I say before I went in, that seeing is not believing. We have a lot of pictures like this around where there's an old man with a beard. And you turn it upside down got a dead man. We're in the Royal Botanic Gardens and it's one of the oldest in the world. It's absolutely beautiful, it's huge, it's about 70 acres. It's very quiet as well. Let's have a look around. There's so many amazing plants in here. <laughs> it's really incredible. Different climates, different plants, there are so many. There's thousands of different varieties of trees and flowers and everything here. It's amazing. I recognise these ones here from New Zealand. Oh, <laughs> We're in Greyfriars Kirk, a very famous graveyard in Edinburgh. It's really beautiful here, really peaceful. Yeah. But we're here to look for a dog called Greyfriars Bobby, and apparently stayed by his master's grave for over 14 years. Mm. Just going to see if we can find him. I've never seen a grave like this before. We're kind of surprised and we're wondering what it was. Um, and it turns out that the reason why they have these bars here on top of the grave and padlocks was to prevent body snatchers from digging up the bodies from the grave and selling it to the medical school. It's pretty crazy. We were walking around the graveyard looking for the dog, but we realized that the dog was actually buried outside the graveyard. Even though he spent 14 years next to his owner's grave, he still wasn't allowed to be buried next to his owner. No visit to Scotland would be complete without tasting some whiskey, so we decided to attend a whiskey tour. Of your whiskey. So always hold it up against the chandelier. If you don't have a chandelier, you need to buy one. You get them from <laughs> Ikea, they're quite cheap. Just a few, a few thousand pounds. Now, if you have a light-coloured whiskey, it's probably been matured in old bourbon cask. It's going to have vanilla flavours. If it's darker in colour, it's probably... <laughs> 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 it's just, you know, how it is at the end of the day. You're a bit tired. Yeah. I mix it with a bit of water, and it goes down so much smoother. It's actually quite nice. <laughs> We walk around trying to find some traditional Scottish food. We tried haggis a few days ago, it was really nice. Yeah. But today we bought some traditional fish and chips. I know they're not Scottish, it's very popular in the whole of the UK as well. But there's sort of a competition going on between England and Scotland over who has the best fish and chips. Yeah. I think it's pretty hard to sort of find one winner, but these ones here, they taste pretty good. Yeah. But also, Sophia's been talking about deep fried Mars bars. Yes. It's something that they don't have in Sweden. It's not very common anywhere really apart from here. No. As soon so as I heard it, I would just had to buy it. So here we've it got is. One here. Yes. Taste it, go. Looks like this. Deep fried Mars bar. Looks I don't know what it looks like, but Wow. <laughs> wow. That was so good. That was really good. <laughs> very very kind of fatty, but really good, really tasty.